the first view one gets of Gozo is that of Magar Harbor. A scene so beautiful and uh, serene that is captured by photographs and uh, artists and by the many who approach the island from the sea, to be met by a humble harbor that is uh, magical in its uh, simplicity. The bustling activity of the ferries, uh, yachts and uh, fishing boats, swaying with uh, busy fishermen preparing their nets, is an engaging sight, a promise of a genuine experience on an island waiting to be discovered. The harbor is dominated by Fort Chambaray, commissioned by Jacques-François de Chambaray of the Order of St. John in 1749. The fort was originally intended to be a new fortified city like Valletta and eventually the new capital of Gozo instead of Cisadel. The project was unsuccessful because by the time construction started, Turkish marauders were longer no a major threat and the people began feeling safer living in the rural areas. While the fort was built, it never developed into a city as planned. Adjacent to the fort lies the neo-gothic Lodres Chapel, and a little stretch of coast boosts among its attractions beside the Yacht Marina, Waterfront and the fully de developed and restored the old boat Gjasia, which used to ferry passengers and uh, merchandise between the two islands. The Glen Eagles Bar is still a meeting point for fishermen, locals and tourists, where stories about Gozo past and present abound. The pub was named after the first ferry boat that moored at Magar in 1855. Bow nets and other fishing equipment adorn the place, which make it a meeting point of different cultures that meet under one roof. The bar stands on an important landmark, the Baraka, a cabin used to shelter the passengers. The first ferry boat service, known as Id Jassia, was already recorded in 1241. At that time, Magar Harbor was a shallow harbor which provided encourage to small ships only. The small jetty used to by passengers to board and uh, descend can still be seen below the Glen Eagles Bar. The area of the port was developed mainly between the 19th and 20th centuries, with the main port expansion in 1969. In 1979, as new ferries and the terminals in both Sirkueva and Magar were inaugurated, the Mar Harbor still retained its old charm and regained its popularity as a new dining place and the pubs were opened at the first place, at the first place which greets visitors to Gozo. Uh, just in front of the terminal, uh, there is uh, also a bus station and from there, by public bus, uh, 3 to 2, you can uh, easily reach uh, uh, Nadur, uh, Ramla Bay and uh, Marsalskon. Uh, the other buses are going to the bus station of uh, capital of Gozo, Victoria. Uh, also, just at the entrance of terminal, there are many tourist offices that will offer you hop and off buses. This, uh, this is the green line which will take you all around uh, uh, Gozo with the uh, shuttle time uh, each one hour from the particular places you want to visit. The ferries from uh, Cirkueva port on the main island of uh, Malta and uh, Port Magar operates 24 hours a day and the uh, return ticket will cost you 4 euros and a uh, half. Uh, also at, uh, at island uh, Gozo uh, we used uh, 7 days uh, ticket for the public transport and uh, you can use it for the buses at uh, Gozo uh, just the same way as you did it at the main island of Malta. Uh, the chapel of uh, Lady of Lodres offers spectacular views on the Magar harbors and it is easily reachable by foot from the harbor. Uh, the chapel is opened in summer 1893 and is built in Gothic style. The tower has five bells and uh, at its top right under the spire there are four clocks, one of each side. Uh, Magar X uh, Sini and uh, Hondok Ir Rumien are two small but, uh, but beautiful swimming and uh, diving spots and uh, those two spots are on the 
west and the east side of Magar Harbor and they are, they are approximately away about 3 kilometers from the harbor port. You can reach them by a car or by a beautiful uh, walking trails nearby the sea. Shambaray Fortress is at this moment a luxury apartment uh, village with a beautiful view on the harbor and the seaside.